What's up JG Nation, thank you for watching JG Tech Block, it's your boy JG, and for today's episode we're going to be reviewing The Beast, the Samsung A6. This is the newest phone to Metro by T-Mobile, but it's also the same model that's at Boost Mobile, at Cricket, and let's just get right into it. By the way, if this is your first time here, and you want to be updated on the latest phones, promotions at Metro, Boost, Cricket, make sure to subscribe and click that bell so you can be notified and be the first to know. At first glance, you notice the minimal bezels and the infinity display with no physical home button. On the back, we have a black matte finish on an aluminum casing and the fingerprint sensor right below the 16 megapixel camera. On the left side, we have our volume rockers and our micro SD and SIM card slot. On the right side, we have our power button and our speaker. Now this speaker is oddly placed as we usually see speakers on the bottom. If you're watching videos horizontally, this could be beneficial. However, it all depends on how you hold your phone. Let's talk a little bit about the hardware overview and what's under the hood. On the A6, we have a 5.6 inch HD Super AM OLED display. We have a 3000 milliamp battery, which is pretty average to its competitors. On the front, we have a 16 megapixel camera, and on the back, we have a 16 megapixel camera. We have a fingerprint sensor right below the camera instead of on the front. Right out of the box, we get 32 gigabytes of storage with the option to expand with the micro SD card slot. For multitasking, we have a three gigabyte RAM, and this phone runs on the Android operating system with a 1.6 gigahertz octa-core processor. Now one feature that you'll notice the A6 lacks is the new USB Type-C port, fast charging, and wireless charging. The initial feel of the A6 is comfortable in one hand due to its narrow design. Its slim aluminum body gives the phone a modern design look, a premium feel, and the weight makes it feel sturdy. Let's talk a little bit about the camera. This phone only has one camera on the back, whereas most recent phones have two to three. The fingerprint sensor is right below the back camera, which might be one of the cons of this phone. Although it's a popular feature among phones coming out nowadays, the location makes it easy for you to smudge the lens when you're constantly unlocking your phone. Also, on the front-facing camera, one of the pros is that we can use facial recognition to unlock the device. I took some footage for you guys to show you hands-on what the camera looks like in different lighting, different video modes, and so you can see how the sound is on the A6. I was pretty impressed actually with some of the features such as selfie mode, the brightness on the recording. Now one thing to keep in mind is that the A6 lacks some key features, and the contributing factor to that could be that Samsung doesn't want to step on its own feet. If they made comparable features in their mid-range and budget phones, consumers would have no reason to get their flagship phones such as the S8 or S9. So let's go ahead and now show you the settings of the phone. Go to about phone. As you guys can see, the storage, uh, it has originally 32 gigs of memory, but 11 gigs are already used up that went for the system. And let's go back. We've taken also a couple pictures, so that's taking some of the memory as well. You do have three gigabytes of RAM. We're using 1.8 gigs. So we have only two applications open. The Samsung Galaxy A6 has great camera. It has a 16 megapixel sensor with ultra fast 1.7 aperture lens on the back and a 16 megapixel 1.9 aperture lens on the front. I took some footage for you guys to show you hands on what the camera looks like in different lighting, different video modes, and so you can see how the sound is on the A6. I was pretty impressed actually with some of the features such as selfie mode, the brightness on the recording. All right guys, here I am using the rear facing camera. It's about an hour before sunset, so we don't have optimal light, but the phone still catches a good spectrum of the sunlight. Right here, I'm adjusting the light on the phone, and the brightness is pretty good even though we are in um, the later part of the day. And now I'm turning the light a little bit lower to get those natural colors. And if for some reason we wanted to make it any darker, we can do so. And this also gives you a little insight into how the microphone is when recording. And that's that for the rear facing camera. Now guys, I'm using the front facing camera to give you guys a little perspective on how that is. It's also a 16 megapixel camera. And again, we're not adjusting the brightness. Now I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the brightness so you guys can see how it is. That's at full brightness. And now we're breaking it down to more darker colors. And I disappear. <laughs> So that's full brightness, and now we're back at uh, normal brightness. Now you guys, there are two views to the camera, and this gives you a little more flexibility when shooting. This is the normal view, and then you can also go to full, 
full view so you can get the whole perspective on what you're recording. So that's just a, another little additional feature in there and um, it can come in handy, you know, if you like to get the full view. We also have our menu here that gives you all the different options for how you want to set your camera. So that's the settings for the video. You can actually do uh, FHD. You can shoot at 1920 by 1080. Or you can do 18 5 by 9 and uh, they have different settings over here. Also picture sizes you can do it at a smaller size. And then you can play around with the rear camera also. These are the settings that has for the rear camera and then the front camera as well. The, um, this focus, selfie focus. Oh yeah, selfie focus. Does it fade out the back? Yeah, as you guys can see, it fades out the back and it makes me clear. You see, it's fading behind us. Oh, you saw that focus? Yeah, so basically, if you guys want to see these footage, we'll have them on our Instagram account. Make sure to go follow us on their JG Tech Blog. If you really think about it, $350, you don't have fast charging, doesn't have wireless charging, and on top of that, you can only watch videos at 720 resolution. But to be fair, the good side to that is that it doesn't suck up the battery that much. This allows you to watch more videos with a pretty decent quality for a longer time, because at the end of the day, you only have a 3000 milliamp battery. Uh, speakers on the A6, and we're gonna test that out right now. Here's one thing though. Look, you see how the speaker is on the side right here? If you cover it up, sound is gone. But this thing is beast. This is loud. It is super clear. Let me try something else. The on and off button is right there under the speakers. It's Guys, it's super, super clear. The audio quality is really nice on the A6. I'm serious. Here's the microphone, so let me get it close to the microphone. All right, let's look at some uh, visually nice video that's in high definition. I'm gonna turn on 4K. You see how the blacks are hella crisp? The AMOLED display is amazing. Let me make sure it's full brightness. You guys can see it very clearly. Now check it out. Yeah, let me try to get the glare away. Okay, that's better. You guys see that quality? What do you guys think? Look, when I go to settings, you see the quality? You guys see that? 720, but it's super clear. Honestly, this phone is bomb. I'm, I'm thinking of getting this for myself now. And you see that display? Yeah, so let me do full screen on YouTube so you can see if it's edge to edge. All right, I'm gonna, yes. That's the full screen. There's no notch. It is edge to edge. You just have the bezels right here. And then I'm gonna zoom in. Bam. Battery life, 3000 milliamp battery. And because this is a 720 AMOLED display, it'll last a long time. Guys, this is honestly the best phone to get right now. Hold your face, 820 inch. Hold the phone, 820 inches from your face. Wow, that was so quick. Wow, that's it. Let's try that out. Wow, that actually works pretty good. You guys can see my reflection from the, the phone, can you? Oh, that's impressive. There you guys have it. Check out the links down below. We have the gameplay. We also have the comparison between the Samsung A6 and the LG Stylo 4. Which of these phones is actually better in real life situations? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. We also just started Discord, so make sure to join us. We have the invite link down in the description. If you guys need a break from watching JD Tech Blog, I know you guys have been watching every single video more than 10 times. Go ahead and check out Habibi's TV. First, I want you to go subscribe to the channel and then check out the content. More content is coming. So the phone is really loud. Quality. Seven. What's up with the board? So I just uh, found out that if you want to access the touch buttons, you would have to swipe from the charging port to away, and then it tells you the back button, the home button, and the back screen buttons. Volume is pretty loud. For one speaker, it's pretty impressive. Now we can go back to JG Tech Vlog. Beep.